acoustic guitars come in a pretty wide variety of styles. Everything from the body shape or the body style to the wood your guitar is made of, to the kind of strings you have on it, to whether you have a pickup on it so you can plug it in. All those things will affect the tone on your guitar. Let's get started by talking about the different body styles available to you out there for a steel string acoustic guitar. This is my main acoustic, and this is what they call kind of a concert body style or what it would be a triple O body style. It's a little bit smaller in the waist and it's a little bit thinner, not always, but it's a little bit smaller body in general than a dreadnought, which is kind of the standard shape out there. Dreadnoughts are a little bit bigger. They sound a little bit bigger than concert or triple O body styles. And the triple O's are a little bit easier to get your arm around. The dreadnoughts are a little bit bigger and bulkier. So if you're a bigger person, you might want a dreadnought. If you're a little bit smaller of a person, you might want to go with something like a triple O or a concert. The last body style that I want to mention is just a jumbo. And just like the name sounds, it's a pretty big guitar. It's even bigger than the dreadnought. It's a little bit harder to get your arm around when you're sitting down, but it does sound bigger too. Now, classical guitars are nylon string guitars are kind of their own category and they have an even smaller body than a lot of concert or triple O style guitars, but some of them are about the same as some triple O bodies. Let's talk about the types of woods that acoustic guitars are made of. And these are just the most common options you're gonna see out there, not all the options by any stretch of the imagination. Let's talk about the tops of guitars first. Now, on acoustic guitars, there are two main types of wood that you could have for a top. The first one is spruce, like this guitar. And generally, it's a little bit lighter blonde in color, and it's a little brighter and punchier. The other main type of wood is cedar, and it's a little bit more warm. Tops for acoustic guitars also break down into two more kind of main categories, and that's laminated and solid tops. And all laminated means is it's plywood. And generally, laminated top guitars are on lower end guitars or guitars that are less expensive. And once you start spending a certain amount of money, you're going to get a solid wood top. Now, laminate top guitars generally are a little bit quieter sounding. They don't vibrate or resonate as much. And solid top guitars tend to be a little bit louder and a little more vibration going on, so they just sound a little bit better generally. Let's move on to the wood for the back and sides of acoustic guitars. Now, just like the tops of acoustic guitars, you can have laminated or plywood back and sides, or you can have solid wood back and sides. And the laminated guitars are going to be probably a little bit quieter and less expensive too, just because they don't resonate as much, right? And then the solid wood back and sides are going to be a little bit more expensive. And generally, they're going to be a little bit louder because they resonate a little more. There are three basic options that are used for the back and sides of most acoustic guitars. There's a lot more than that, but these are the basic main three. The first one is rosewood, like this guitar. The second one is mahogany. And the third one would be maple. Now, Rosewood has a big boomy sound on the bottom end and has like a lot of nice highs too with a little bit of mids scooped out there. A mahogany back and sides guitar is gonna be more even. The mids are gonna be a little bit more present there. It's gonna be more, a little more balanced. And then the maple back and sides are gonna be pretty scooped. To me, it sounds like there's a lot of bass, not a whole lot of mids, and then a lot of treble too. I have a lot of people ask me, Nate, should I get an acoustic guitar or should I get an acoustic electric guitar? Well. An acoustic guitar is an acoustic guitar regardless of whether it has a pickup or not on it. If your guitar that you're buying has a pickup in it, that's great. You can plug it into a PA or your amp or your computer or anything like that. If your guitar doesn't have a pickup on it, that's fine too. You can always add one to it and have somebody install it for you. Now I just want to mention a little bit to you about the types of strings out there available to you for your acoustic guitar. And I'm just going to go through two general categories for acoustic strings. And that's 80-20 bronze strings, or you can have phosphor bronze strings for your steel string acoustic guitar. 80-20 bronze strings are what I have on my guitar right now. They're pretty bright in general, and they're a little bit more golden in color, as opposed to phosphor bronze that look a little bit more copper or reddish. And to me, they tend to be a little bit warmer and a little more airy. I like phosphor bronze in general for finger style stuff and then I like 80-20 for more strummy stuff. And of course, classical guitars or nylon string guitars don't have steel strings like this guitar. They have nylon strings for the top three strings, and then the low three strings are wound with metal like these are. But 
inside the core, instead of being metal, there's nylon fibers in there as well. I know that's a lot of information that really may not necessarily mean much to you until you actually go get your hands on some acoustic guitars and try them out for yourselves. And, you know, I would encourage you to do that. Go down to your local music store and just pick up everything you can and try it out until you find out what you like for yourself. In the next lesson, we'll get into the world of electric guitars. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to check out this entire series, get some motivation, and continue with your positive momentum, you can click the link in the video description where you'll get step-by-step -step video lessons that take all the confusion away of what to learn next, fun jam tracks to give you clear musical goals, and community support when you need it. Just go ahead and click the link in the description for all the details.